Prince Sports here, guys, keeping it 3,000. What's up? Now, you heard of what Gary Payton was saying um, about Michael Jordan and LeBron James, right? Now, a lot of you are sitting there saying, well, Gary Payton is entitled to have his own opinion, right? Yes, he is. Gary's Payton, Gary Payton is allowed to be, you know, somewhat objective if you think he is. But I don't think this is a case of Gary Payton being objective, okay? When it comes to Michael Jordan, okay, there's two types of people uh, that criticize him. There's LeBron extremist fans. You know, those are people that think LeBron James invented basketball and completely disrespect any other player to play basketball, but overlook LeBron's flaws and just favor LeBron James in every single day. Make excuses for him for every day, okay? That's a LeBron extremist. And Jordan happens to be the guy that most people think is better than LeBron. So, of course, a LeBron extremist is going to go out of his way to degrade Michael Jordan. So, that's one group. The second group is Michael Jordan haters. Guys that don't like Michael Jordan from a personal standpoint. The Bill Lambeers, Isaiah Thomas, uh, Scottie Pippen off and on. <laughs> and just about anybody else that Michael Jordan rubbed the wrong way because Michael Jordan was a known a-hole. Okay, this was a guy that uh, was somewhat of a bully to a lot of players and to a lot of people. Um, a guy that did a lot of shady things off the court. And um, a guy that probably do whatever it takes to win on a basketball court, even if it resulted into being somewhat dirty, I guess, if you just want to look at it that way. You know, um, a guy that had uh, gambling addictions, um, had seeds by other, you know, other other people and you know he left his old lady for you know this that person that person you know and a lot of drama with michael jordan and he rubbed a lot of people the wrong way so that's the second group those are the two types of critics of michael jordan now the newest guy to fall in that second category is gary payton now why you say gary payton falls in that category it's because of this, okay? This is why you have to take what Gary Payton says with a grain of salt. For years, this man has never talked about Michael Jordan in any manner of saying another guy is better than him, right? He's always given Michael Jordan the utmost respect. He's always been respectful of Michael Jordan, okay? And when you was respectful of somebody, but you don't give that same respect, you don't get that same respect back from that same person that you've given respect to, that's when you tend to be disrespectful. And Gary Payton is a guy that's been known to, uh, to talk a lot of spat, but he never talked bad about Mike or criticized Mike, so to speak, until now. Now, why all of a sudden now, when he didn't do it for years, he kept his mouth shut about the LeBron versus uh, Jordan debate. Why now? You know, want to know why? Let's say you play basketball, right? Me and you are playing basketball and I beat you. You're going to show me respect. You're going to give me a handshake. You know, you give me a little dap. And besides winning, the second most important thing in sports is being respected. Knowing that, hey, even if I didn't beat this guy in this respective sport, he respects what I'm doing out there on the court. I'm getting respect by my peers. I'm getting respect by my opponents. Michael Jordan crossed that line. He didn't respect Gary Payton in the last dance. He basically laughed, laughing in Gary Payton's face. And said, you know, this dude's not on my level. Uh, I don't even take his defensive skills um, really that serious. Okay, he completely waved off what makes Gary Payton, Gary Payton. Gary Payton was known for being the glove, all defense, right? So when a guy disrespects you and say you was no challenge, you're going to feel some type of way about that. And this was his chance to do a jab at Michael Jordan. And rightfully so, he deserves to do that. He had every right to do that. Now, I wouldn't say this is a 100% jab, but I can't say this is objective opinion either because he fits in that same category with the Isaiah Thomases now. He's Michael Jordan's newest nemesis, all right? Because um, Last Dance rub a lot of people the wrong way. And whenever Mike opened up his mouth, he's going to rub a lot of people the wrong way. It's the same way with Isaiah Thomas. You know, you can't take Isaiah Thomas' um, words 100% factual because he has an agenda against Mike. And you can't take Mike's words against Isaiah Thomas 100% factual because he has an agenda against Isaiah Thomas. They're two guys that just don't like each other. And in this case, Gary Payton felt disrespected. So as a man, he did what he was supposed to do 
was go at Michael Jordan. The only way he knows how to, because you can't beat him on the court. And I got to disrespect him because he disrespected me. Prince Sports out, you know. So that's why it's not a, an objective opinion. And before I go, if this was Allen Iverson that said that, it'd have been more easier to understand because Allen Iverson don't have no grudge against Michael Jordan. There's no history of a beef. And he didn't came out saying anything bad about Mike. Mike didn't came out saying anything bad about Allen Iverson. So if Al a guy like Allen Iverson, who's in the gray area, he says that, then it's cool. But Gary Payne, you got to take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> so again, I'm out. Peace.